Ross Tanner from Global Skywatch. We are getting hypernucleated today really hard. And whenever this happens and they're spraying what turns out to be the iron aluminum type, this is because for those sensitive people like myself who can taste and smell it, it smells like a mixture of iron and aluminum, mostly aluminum, it, but, uh, but that's kind of what it smells like. Well, I was checking out radar last night, and I came back today to check it out and found an interesting anomaly. And I was checking radar because whenever they spray the iron aluminum type, that means that a storm is within 12, sometimes 24, but within about 12 hours of hitting us. And they were spraying us really hard all through the night last night. So naturally, I checked out radar, saw a storm front coming in as I have for years. This has been the pattern for years. They hypernucleate the air, and they uh, by hypernucleating, they create a massive number of condensation nuclei in the air which prevent precipitation or lower the amount of precipitation. That is hypernucleation. That is part of weather modification programs. So when we look at the map here, what you're looking at is Maine. Here's Maine down here. You've got Boston down here, uh, Canada up here. When I was looking at the radar uh, just now, I noticed a very interesting anomaly. We have these huge radii extending from this location, and I wanted on my own to check out and see what was going on here because I see these things all the time and I'm not a young man anymore. I've, I have watched weather radar all my life and these anomaly only began appearing in the last 10 years or so. I've never seen anything like this before. So I wonder what has changed? What what has changed that we can go on radar maps and see these kinds of anomaly all the time now? Let's zoom in and take a look at this and forgive my voice if you can tell I'm swollen my sinuses are swollen shut because of this hypernucleation that's going on uh, most people don't smell and taste this but many hundreds of people contacted me who do and it causes uh, migraines and all kinds of health symptoms and this is just typical hypernucleation before a storm which is of course not being admitted to is happening but for those of us who smell and taste it it's as real as anything you would look at with your eyes Okay, we've, we've zoomed in on this. Now we're looking uh, in Canada. Maine is down here in the lower uh, right, and uh, we're primarily in Canada, and we see where this is centralized. Let's point the mouse right to the central location of what we're seeing here. Here's the central point of where all these radii are extending out. What I'm going to do is go ahead and zoom in right on that point. All right, let's make sure we've got the center. There we are. We're right at the center right there. You can see, okay, we're going to zoom in and see what's going on here that is causing all these radii to extend. I've zoomed in a little bit more, and let's look at the artifacts that we see here. First of all, we see a road coming down here. Let me zoom back out for a second. You see Laurier, Laurier Station. These are French. I'm not sure exactly how to say these, but Laurier Station is right here, and you come down, and we've got Villeroy right here, and as we zoom in, we see this winding river that comes down makes a sharp turn. It splits here and makes a sharp turn. Now, if we want to find the center of this anomaly, it's right out, if you go straight due west from the bend in the river, and maybe just up a little bit. So right in this vicinity right here, this is kind of the mean average of where we see all of these vectors emanating, right at this point. So let's take a look at Google Earth and see what we see right in this location. I decided to do a little searching to see what was there, if there's anything to this, what's going on. Here's Google Earth. Let me zoom out a little bit to give you a little perspective. Here we are. Here's Laurier Station. Villeroy is right down here, right there. And as we zoom in, you can see the big river up above here. There's the winding river that comes down. Um, Laurier Station right here. And as we look at the river, let's take a careful look here, you can see where the river winds down, makes the sharp 90 degree turn, splits off, and then bends down uh, south, uh, southeast. Now, we determined that the center of the radii was due west of this bend in the river and just a little bit up. So I went out about as far as I thought it would be and then went up a little bit and I noticed there's a clearing or something. There's some artifact here. So I wanted to zoom in. As I zoomed in, I noticed there was a big clearing. There's a road leading in here. There's some kind of clearing in the woods here. I'm not sure what that is. But there's a clear road here. And it looks like we have some kind of project going on here. This looks like maybe a guard post station. 
that's set up next to the road, perhaps. I'm not really sure what this is, but if you want to comment and uh, help us out and figure out what this is or tell us what this is or take a drive out there and tell us what you see, it would be greatly appreciated. And if you do, email me. I'd love to see some pictures or have someone check out. Just let's find out. What is this? Uh, there's some. There's a lot, lot going on here. Uh, let's take a look. First of all, we do have a radio tower right here, and you can see the shadow along the ground of this tower. It's a good-sized tower. It's pretty tall. And from this tower, let's zoom in here so you can see it. From this tower, you can see large cable network that runs off almost due east to this complex over here. And here we see what look like perhaps uh, tanker trucks. I'm going to make a guess. These might be fuel uh, semis without the head attached. This may be a, genera a generator. And then this looks like maybe a uh, uh, work quarters where there might be equipment housed. But we have this large conduit coming all the way here to this tower. We also have a conduit feeding off over into this, what appears to be a work quarter as well. When we look around here, we also see a number of these unique work trucks of some sort. Not sure what they are, but there's some kind of uh, equipment here. And there's a number of those. There's two right there. And if we go west, there's a couple here. There's one here. Um, and then there's some pickups and cars and other things around here too. Um, but obviously, we have something going on here. I don't know what it is, but this is the spot where those radii are emanating from on the weather radar. So I just wanted to bring this to your attention. I do not know what this site is. There's one other interesting thing. There's a photograph that was taken a couple miles off to the right. Let me see if I can find that again. Um, sometimes photos on... Google Earth are not placed exactly in the right location, but I did come across this and thought I would share it with you because it looks kind of like what you would expect this site to be. We've got a clearing, we've got a, looks like a generator truck, a tank, we're flowing, uh, through. this might just be a gas site, a mining site, I'm not really sure, but it's a couple miles off, but I thought this was, uh, I thought this was interesting. Uh, nevertheless, I'm not really sure what we're looking at here. If this is a photo of the site and somebody pasted it a couple miles off to the right or uh, put it a couple miles off to the right, uh, misappropriated it, I don't know. But anyway, getting back to our site here, if anyone can tell me what this is, it would be interesting to find out because this is the point at which all these radii are emanating outward. Is this a radar tower? Is this some kind of transmission tower that we're not told about or we don't know about out in the middle of nowhere? Please leave some comments and let me know. This is Russ Tanner from Global Skywatch.